Friday Night Flies. We're back. We are back. We are back. The right on. It's the last Friday of the evening. It is the last Friday of the evening. It's uh -huh. been a long day, long night. We've been, I've been fishing all day. I yeah. got up at like 5.30 this morning. We laid the boots to a lake here in town and uh, had a lot of satisfied customers. And uh, while I was ice fishing today, I saw this critter swim up out of the hole. And I said, man, you know what? I'm going to take a picture of this guy. And I'm going to pass it on to the artist behind the vice, Mr. Scotty Leboldus. And here it is. We Could it created, have been a damsel? Created the masterpiece. Cool. So, yeah, we created a master damsel fly that I don't think has ever been done before. This is an original. Original. From the source of nature. Only Doesn't get any better than that. Spud Valley source. Sports. That's right. And I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a lot of people trying to copy this, but good luck. Good luck because first I, of all, I don't know anybody else who is calling trophy moose. That or a cassette tape because they're hard to come by nowadays. Or a cassette tape. So once you've got that and you get figured out which side A and side B is... Which means you got to listen to the tape. That's right. The whole thing. The whole thing. That's the and, way it works, right? Yeah, that's how it works. It doesn't flip over the B-side. So we've got a couple uh, people in the audience tonight, one that's worthy of mentioning. Yeah, we've... We, you mentioned in Wyatt, yeah. making all the noise in the background. Yeah, we've got a young man here. All right, uh, young man, fly fishing if so you come around there. on this side, Wyatt, <laughs> or crawl, yeah, that works too. Come right up here. Yeah, right up and front see, there. And see, that's the camera right there. So you say hi to come in here and say hi. The millions in attendance. Hi. There you go. This is Wyatt, our number one fan. Number one. Number that's one. Right. The He's youngest. Hooked on, hooked on fly fishing. We're going to get them hooked. Yeah, look at that right. small. That's worth millions. <laughs> All right, get out of the camera. Yeah, it's my <laughs> time. It's my spotlight. That's right. Okay, so <laughs> Thanks, we're going to go down by and we're going to show people what we've seen. All right. So uh, keep in mind, this was our first shot at it. This this is the uh, the first rendition. Uh, we are going to make a little tweak to it, but it's going to you know still look about the it's same. It's going to look this. a lot like this. Um, but we're just going to tweak it out just a little bit more again. So uh, as any true damsel, you got a nice long tail. Uh, they typically got uh, one, two, three thingies hanging out the back which they use to propel themselves so that's why we use the marabou here it has a lot of wiggle and that, waggle that pattern right there is going to smoke them yeah and uh, Brad almost doubted the yellow but the yellow works it gets a little hot spot together. a little bit of attention towards the head um, you notice this damsel is not using uh, bead eyes so that's why we use the yellow thread just to uh, bring some attention to the front of the fly. We got some nice CDC here for some buggy leg action. And of course, we got the ice dubbing. Um, I believe this is, uh, my bag says peacock black, but that's not what it is. It is olive. 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 And it's UV. UV. Because we like UV. Yeah, we like it. Let's we get like out it a lot. Let's so we're going to get at it. Woo! So, um, I already lost the uh, pack of hooks. Nope, there we go. Yeah, what are we tying it off? We're, tying uh, it off. we're using some Deachis today. Oh, Deachi. Deachi. Nice sharp hooks. Uh, size 6 dry fly hook. You can also use a uh, streamer. Or you could this also, is whatever we had. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we had in the right size. Like I said, uh, or like Brad was saying, we just invented yeah. this today. So uh, I don't have any lead wrap with me. I probably would probably like to uh, put some lead wrap towards the head of this hook. Because uh, damsels are normally fished slow retrieve on the bottom. I, I usually fish them with a full stick anyhow. Yeah, so. And then you're good to go. There's lots of sinking yeah, agents you can put on flies now. Ah, sure. okay, oh, I didn't even think one. of that. Yeah. Sinking agent. Uh, uh, what's the other name? I call it sink. You always think of all those additives for dry fly application, but there are a lot of sink. sink We're big Uno Door product fans here. Uh, they've got the up and down kit. If you haven't got one, get it. Up means up, down means down. All right, so. We got our thread on. We're wrapping it back to just set the hook bend. We don't want to go any farther back because it does have a long tail, and we're doing that so that we eliminate uh, false bites. Um, we got some brown marabou here. We picked off uh, a nice plume. We're gonna bunch this all together. 
And uh, the the length of his tail is almost the full size of the hook shank. They do have quite a long tail. So I'm going to get that fastened on. A couple of one, two underneath. Just to help keep that out from the hook bend. Um, and because we are using the, the tape, it is a very slender material. I'm going to be wrapping the whole body up using this marabou. So just the filler. You got just it. the filler up. Yeah. So I don't have to go over and over and over and over with thread. Uh, we definitely want to make sure we leave room to do our head. Alright, so I'm going to nip this off. And then we're going to get this in nice and secure. See, it doesn't really make that much of a difference if you let some of that poke through between yeah. the cassette itself. But, I mean, you, you just want to have a little bit of width on our filler. All right. Let's get rid of that straggler there. Okay. So, the addition that I didn't have in the original fly you saw was a little bit of wire... Ribbing, so I got some copper here. We'll make this thing bomb proof. As I can already tell, them little, them big trout are going to be all over this thing. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, you know, like your mainstay, like a woolly bugger. If you don't have Doc Spratly, woolly bugger, some damsels, then your fly box really isn't complete. These are flies that I bring with me every time I go. They're just. Damsels are good? They're just in my box, especially if I'm doing lakes. Um, damsels are pretty popular in lakes. Only popular in lakes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not really in a river very much. We're not this apt about a fly, the last fly of the night. But okay, so it's, it's deadly. It's deadly. With my cassette tape, so I got a nice brown cassette tape here. Um, there's a really shiny side. They're both shiny, but one's a little bit muted. That side is B. side. <laughs> yeah, that's a, hence the side B. So. Um, cut a little V in it, and I'm going to tie it in. So I'm tying it in shiny side down so that when I wrap, I'm going to have the muted side facing outward. And uh, this is your only opportunity to get any bulk that you need or any tapering. And they do have a very slender profile. So the only tapering you really need to do is towards the top. Leave that back end alone. Don't go over and over and over it. Slow down here and get a little control. So, as you see, all my tapers towards the front. I'm going to grab this tape and I'm going to wrap side B facing out. God. It's like chocolate. Wrapping your fly with chocolate. It does look like that, eh? Oh, God. It's shiny. It, it flows, man. That stuff is magical. I mean, Scotty Holmes turned us on to the side B and side A with the black cassette. But, I mean, uh, there's lots of different color cassette tapes out there. And mostly, you'll see them, they're brown. And if you do come across a black one, send me one because I'm definitely needing one. Yeah, since uh, Scotty, yeah, since Scotty was using those black ones, I've been I went through all my cassette tapes I think that I can of, find at home, and I can find nothing. I think the black ones are re, uh, re, uh, rewritable or re recordable. Recorded, or? yeah, recordable tapes. Yeah, which I don't have any. It's pretty tough to beat DVDs or uh, CDs and USB sticks now. And, I mean, everybody's got a freaking iPod or an iPod. We've got to figure out a way to use a CD. It's too rigid. I mean, that's the only downside, unless you could, like, mold it or something. But Maybe we can tie it into a spoon somehow. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, so the, uh, the little bit of trick here is after I've wrapped my body, I've got my tape all on the top of the fly with the shiniest side facing down because we're going to be using this as a shell back afterwards. So that's a... Uh, There's a hand it's hanging up. Okay. Oh, yeah. can you just go open my truck? 
Uh, behind um, the so, the we got the body in. I'm going to do our ribbing here. Oh, it's coming together nicely. It's coming together real nicely. Okay. Ribbing. He's coming. He's going to go. Are you going to go? Okay. All right. So we got our ribbing in. Now we need to build the uh, build up what we're going to be doing for thorax or for our legs here. I got my pale CBC. I'm going to be tying it in by the tip. So we're just going to push all this back, and there is a curvature. So this is the underbelly. Underbelly up. Honestly. I can't wait to try this one. Short my thread here a little. And... Oh, come on, grab. I'm struggling. Pinch technique for the pinch. Boom. Got him. Got it. All right, so. Tape in the way. Yeah. All right, so we want to get that C to C right on the top. All right, it's secure. And now we just need to apply some dubbing. So I got my olive ice dubbing here, UV ice dubbing. Or no, this is not ice dubbing. It's straight up a UV. i Plus tonight. I'd like to say hello to everybody out there. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We put a lot of time and effort into this show. And it's a, it's a weekly show, so, I mean, if, if you like what you see, join us next week. Um, occasionally, we start off the show with the question and answers. If you guys have any questions, visit us on G+. Plus at uh, Just type in Brad Knowles. It'll come up first, or Permanent Fish Finder. And we host it live through our uh, chat room on G+. Plus. And it's all interactive. And to be honest, I think the quality is quite quite a bit better live in the chat room. So yeah. if you're watching it on YouTube, it's streamed, it's rendered, it's not nearly as good a quality. When and you get I, it live, you get the quality of our cameras straight out. Yeah, 1080p, baby. All right, so with the damsel, we're going to build quite a significant thorax slash head on it. Did you tell them what we're using now? <laughs> yes, this is... a all of UV. Dub. Dubbing. And make sure you're not grabbing any of those CDC fibers because we're going to be using those for the legs. This is a, it's a little smidge more here. Can't get enough of that laser dub. That's good stuff. It stuck to me. Okay. It was like me when I was doing my last fly last week, and I had a chunk of flash of it on my palm the whole time. The whole time. I'm like, what the? <laughs> and nobody was saying anything. Yeah. Didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna get this over and tied off before we do our shell back. And what did I like doing? because this is quite a big fly, is I want to stroke all those fibers back so I can trap as many of them as I can. And I'm going to get it tied off. Leave that cassette tape alone. Get a little close to my eye here. Little trick, just push her back with your thumbnail. Just want to get one wrap. Nope, I'm not going to do it in front. No room. All right. Get rid of this tag again. So you have all the CDC on top. Brush it to both sides. Ah, now she's looking buggy. Alright, so before I get this over, we need to get our thread to the back. It's not going to be, be a problem. That's why we used all that dubbing. Do a nice crossover. And that's going to help you separate those fibers. So I'm just coming back across behind my dubbing ball. 
and we're going to pull the CD, or sorry, pull the cassette tape back. And a couple wraps in behind, make sure you don't trap your legs. And I'm actually going to whip finish this behind. Gives you a nice little segmentation for the thorax. A little bit of yellow on the head though. Smoke. But I guess you're at the point of no return now. Yeah, with our little addition that we made. But I'll show you what we can still do. So I got a nice little whip finish in there. Put a little head cement in it so it stays. Nick that off. Nick off this tag. Before you do anything, let's roll it over. Let's have a look at the, from the back and show them what, what we're looking at here. Okay. This is science. Science. Cool. Pure science. So, this is what our profile is looking like. Cool. Fishy. Fishy, fishy. Underneath, belly. You're going to get a lot of sunlight in there. And if you like that little yellow embellishment. I like the hot spot, man. I'll be honest with you. I, I me too. I think it really made that fly. Uh, next time, just leave yourself a little bit more room, but you can just tie on and tie off. Let's pull that back out of the way. I'm going to give myself a little, build a little yellow head. One more whip finish. Careful of the camera. You're definitely going to want to put a little dab of head cement on that. And some head cement, yeah. At least the worst that's going to happen is all that's going to happen is that yellow head's going to come off. Unravel. Good deal. And that's it. But that's your fly. Cool. And you know what I would just do just a little bit is just I'll fluff that dub out a little pull bit. Pull up my dubbing a little. Let it do what it wants to do, and that's your new cassette tape side B calling trophy moose. Also works for rainbow trout. Man, that'll catch anything. Actually, yeah, I like this. Yeah. Good invention. Okay, I'll nice tell idea. you one thing. You're not allowed to fish that until I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Everybody watching, you're not allowed to use that until I'm done with it. I would be, uh, it hasn't been tested yet, but I'd be more than happy to let you give it the work oh, over first. Boys and girls, there you have it. An original. What are we calling this? The side B damsel or the side B brown damsel fly. Yeah. Okay, hey, we're going up top. You give it here, give her one more spin, let him let him drool over it. One Whoa. little bit more here. God damn man. That's, That's shiny. Amazing. That's that nice. Beautiful. That's gonna, it's gonna work really good. Okay, we're going up top. Sign out, brother. And once again, it's Boulder Friday Night Flies. Thanks for joining us for another week. Hey, if anybody's missed a show tonight, where can they go to find them all? YouTube, or or you go to uh, Brad Knowles on G Plus. Even or better. Or you can go to FridayNightFlies.com. That's right. And you can see our current weeks ones are always listed or showing right there on the main page. And if you want to see any of the archived ones. You can go into either myself, That's Scotty right. Holmes, hey, or you know uh, what? If anything, they can see how much of an improvement that haircut is over last week's hair. Oh, you can definitely see that. Uh -huh. I got rid of the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to look like Joe Big Dirt Brad, Brad Dirt there. Or Joe Dirt. Little okay. Joe Dirt. Anyhow, what do we got? What? What? What next? Okay, this is Boulder. I'm trying to change my saying, but apparently I'm not allowed. So this is Boulder saying wet nets.